What you guys got another video here for you. Can this software fix your PC? I get this question quite a bit and I see a lot of people talking about this Restoro and a lot of people heavily promote it on their website. So what is it and can it actually fix your PC? In short, no it can't. And as you can see here, my antivirus software, potentially unwanted content found on this website. And this is because these have been flagged for many years and your antivirus program just like ESET here and a bunch of others will block them. If you go on your website now and do a search for PC repair tools and other things like that, you're going to see a lot of Restoro coming up and Reimage and other tools like that. They're all from the same company. Reimage and Restoro are the same. They're from the same uh, guy that created them. And if you look in these websites here that are heavily uh, advertised for this particular type of stuff, you can see Restoro is in here as well. It's not free and uh, you will be bombarded with payment to fix certain issues with computer problems. Now, what problems can it actually fix? In my personal opinion, I think it's just a glorified uh, system cleaner that just cleans out temporary files, just like, say, CCleaner would do or any other type of cleaner like that. Even Windows has a built-in cleaner that will do exactly what Restoro does. Now, there is a so-called built-in anti-malware and anti-virus scanner in there, apparently. And you may find reputable sites like Windows Report uh, reporting this software as safe and good to use. And this is because they probably got massive ad campaigns running with Restoro or Reimage and, and programs like that. And you can see here, they're trying to tell you that it's a trusted site and you should use it. Other sites like the Windows Club do exactly the same thing. These are supposed to be reputable sites that are recommending you fixes and also tools. And you can see here, they're recommending to get Restoro. So I definitely wouldn't uh, follow any of these sites when it comes to uh, you know their recommendations for this. Because you've got to remember, they're trying to make money on the internet as well. Web of Trust and these other sites like this will report it as a really bad reputational site and they will try to tell you to avoid it. And this is what you should be doing. There is tons of money piled into this particular type of uh, software for ad campaigns and websites which they put up on the internet to try and trick you into uh, downloading it and installing it. Repair-windows.com you can see my antivirus is still blocking it even on a virtual machine. So it wants to tell me that it's not safe and not to use it. So who are you going to listen to? Restoro, the website, or are you going to listen to uh, your antivirus software? So be very careful with what you're doing on the internet and what sites you visit and what, what you're reading on there because not everything you read about fixing PCs is going to be legit. You can see here, PC uh, dash repair tool. They're using all keywords and plenty of keyword stuff in inside this website, knowing that this is going to be picked up in search engines. You can see PC errors, Windows crashes, PC crashes, all these things, fix PC crashes, all this sort of uh, buzzwords that people are searching for on the internet, blue screen of death. And you're going to see a ton of sites just like this one. So let's get it downloaded and we'll get it installed and I'll show you exactly what you get so you don't have to go ahead and download it and install it on your PC. As I've said before, these sites are geared for making money and it's a bit of a scam and they've got a pretty bad reputation uh, for you know working closely with tech support scammers and other people like that. I think uh, Jim Brannon did a, a video some time ago about Scareware, and this was one of them. Reimage and Restoro are part of the same thing. They're owned by the same guy. So let's go ahead and run a scan on this PC. And this is a virtual machine, by the way. It's going to compile some data. It does a, a bit of a long scan, so it just takes its time. And what they're trying to do is you may get the odd pop-up on the screen, but what it's trying to do is convince you that you've got something massively wrong with your system, and Restoro can fix that for you. All you need to do is basically buy it. And this is exactly what they're trying to do here. So you can see PC profile. It's going to get a profile of my PC. And I had to disable my antivirus to run this because it was popping up blocking IP addresses. 
And of course, uh, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to run the program so we could see what was going on. So here we have the PC summary here, repair 971 issues and get a cleaner and faster PC. We're using those uh, you know, buzzwords again to get people interested in what it's doing. No security issues were found, but we still had 96 broken registry issues. Broken registry issues can cause various PC issues. And you've got five crashes uh, from programs and 61 issues there, which can also cause issues and data loss. It's all fear-mongering and you know, scare, scaremongering people to make them feel that they've got something wrong with their PC. Here we have the word cache, which means it's just junk files. And they're saying there's a ton of them on here that basically need to be removed. It also says that um, while surfing the web, your data is being collected and your ISP can vis visibly see all this sort of stuff. So Restoro can clean it all for you. So all it is is just junk files, really. It's not going to fix any sort of PC problem that you've got. It's detected that I've got 34 gigabytes of junk in my recycle bin and it wants to remove that for me. Well, I can do that myself by right clicking on the recycle bin and just emptying it. But you can see here also, it's telling me about some temperatures going on with my system. And these are not uh, my real temperatures because my real temperatures are not that high. But there's some other stuff here as well. So not vast amounts of uh, repairs that you can see from Restoro. So if you've got a major PC problem, Restoro is not really going to fix your PC. It's just going to clear out a lot of junk files, but you can see the complete system solution, the powerful technology that secures and safely repairs any PC to any optimized state. Uh, and you can see also remove malware threats, delete dangerous websites, restore maximum performance, free precise disk space, and also a bunch of other stuff they're telling you on their website. And of course, when you get over to the buy now button, there's always a discount on these sorts of things. It's not a vast amount of money, but when, start, when people start buying it on quite a large scale, they end up getting ripped off and it's getting ripped off for, you know, £35 or £25 or £21. And again, that all adds up. So when you go to their website, you can read about their company here. I've, I'm not going to go too deep into that side of things. But, you know, if you do your research on it, you'll find that Reimage and also Restoro are the same company. And I think Jim Browning did a review on... Uh, Reimage or something like that. And they had quite a shady pass for dealing with tech support scammers and things like that. The videos are still up there. He'd done them about three years ago. So hopefully that issue has been resolved and they're not doing that anymore, but it just warns people to stay away. You might see McAfee uh, Security saying it's a, a really great site and also partnered with Microsoft and a bunch of other sites like this with packed with keywords, which are trying to uh, gain visibility on the internet and this is what they do and they will create loads of these and eventually they will choke out the search engine and you will get uh, visibility right back to Restoro it basically is to download Restoro these sites here are created just for uh, keyword stuff in so they can get a bit of visibility there there's some other ones out there as well there's plenty of other ones out there that do the same sort of thing the same sort of tactics and uh, really, they don't really do much to your computer. They're not going to fix your PC. So if you've got a PC problem with Windows or you've got a PC issue, then downloading programs like this are not going to fix it. This does not fix Windows at all. All it does is just cleans out a lot of old clutter like junk files and temporary internet files and cache and things like that. It's not going to really fix your PC. And if you've bought anything like this, then you've probably been scammed. Now, going on to the internet again, you can see reputable sites that are recommending that this is a really good piece of software. And these sites should be ashamed of themselves to put this sort of information out there because some of these sites are pretty well known and they get searched quite a bit and people do read articles on these sites. So be very careful with what sites you trust in what they're telling you because not everyone's going to be as honest as what I am and tell you that these programs are no good for you and they're just going to end up ripping you off. When you find out that it's just a glorified uh, cleaning program which is built into Windows and you can do a lot of that stuff for free. And you can see site after site, there's tons of them out here pushing this stuff onto people. And of course, people do a search for PC repair or fixing and, 
And guess what? They end up stumbling on these sites and uh, you end up falling for it, you know. And as they say, one born every minute. And you can see here, there's tons of sites out there that are writing articles on this and they just keep copying and pasting them into new articles and new sites and packing it with keywords which people are searching for. And of course, eventually, they just choke out the internet with a bunch of this uh, fake stuff, you know. So be very, very careful. Now, also, you may be saying to me, hold on a second, Brian, there is a malware scanner in there and it does detect malware. Well, go to any reputable site and see where Restoro comes up on the rankings for de malware detection or virus detection. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty poor and it's going to be way down the bottom. As you can see, a lot of these articles are all pretty much the same and they're blasted all over the Internet to get visibility for this software to get people to buy and this is what it's all about anyway i hope this video has been some sort of use to you hopefully you haven't fell for this sort of stuff and try to fix a pc problem and ended up going on the internet and searching for a particular thing like this and ended up uh, you know falling for this particular type of scam go to these microsoft uh, forums here and they'll tell you that it's not recommended program it's not going to you know, fix your issues. And they'll tell you all the information on here. Some of these sites out here that are run for tech sites, they are going to be promoting this sort of stuff. And the reason for it is because, like I've said, it's an ad campaign that they're running and they get quite a bit of ad campaign from these. You used to see them on there with these green download buttons and trying to trick people into clicking on things. Even sites like Bleeping Computer used to do it back in the day. And it's pretty lame, really. But, you know, just stay clear of these sort of sites. Malwarebytes did an article on this back in 2018, uh, you know, opening up uh, some information about the actual product itself and what it does and what it contains. So you can go ahead and read all that stuff, but it's not really worth it, really. Just stay away from them and don't install them on your PC. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use. I shall catch you in the very next video. Or I'll see you on my Discord server. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.